Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcast, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Laura Noland here in beautiful Honolulu, Hawaii at PTC 20. Joining me now is Travis Ewart, the COO of Light River. No stranger to JSA TV. Welcome back, Travis. Well, thank you, Laura. I'm, uh, I'm glad to be back. Thanks for having me again. For our viewers who may not know about Light River, tell us what you do. Yeah, you bet. So within uh, Light River, we have primarily two lines of business. We have our, our services arm where we engineer, design, and build some of the largest and most complex transport and packet optical networks out there. And, uh, you know, we do this for some of the, the largest operators out there where five nines and mission critical is important to them. And that's that's FANG operators, hyperscale, largest data center exchange providers, tier ones, others. So that that's our uh, FBN, our factory built network line of business. And uh, very complementary to that, we also have a, a network software platform called NetFlex. And within NetFlex, we, we automate you know, some of the most uh, complex multi-vendor, you know, multi-technology, multi-generational uh, you know, technologies out there as well within Netflix. So very complimentary, uh, but uh, for Light River, that's that's our, our key two focus areas. 2019 was a big year for Light River, uh, multiple award wins, also moving into the Bellworks building in New Jersey. Uh, tell us more about you know, your success in 2019. Yeah, you know, 2019 was a fun year. So we got a lot of uh, industry recognition. We won a, a number of awards, starting with PTC last year and uh, finishing with uh, with Fierce Telecom and a number of others in between. And and actually, uh, not that we were keeping track, but kind of sort of were. I, I think we got we got more uh, awards from an optical domain control perspective uh, with Netflix than uh, than anybody else out there, which was fun. And you know, for 2019, it was all about growth too. So we. Uh, we got started with a, a massive growth project for our factory built network and, and expanding our, 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 our labs or factory instance. Uh, so that was going on, uh, as well as, as you just said, moving into the, uh, the Bell, Bell Labs, former Bell Labs location now called Bellworks in Homedale. So that, that's kind of where it all began with, uh, with Netflix and uh, some of our, our founders and uh, original technologists uh, coming home, so to speak. So awesome new facility there. So it was about, it was about growth. It was about customer growth and uh, yeah, a little bit of uh, award bling along the way, Laura. So. Uh, <laughs> Well, congratulations to you on that. We want to talk now a little bit about more your uh, your industry leading solutions. It's the factory built network. It's Netflix, uh, two separate solutions, but you made them into one. Yeah. So, uh, actually, we found a way to pretty intelligently bring them together. So today, when we you know engineer, uh, build, and deploy a network, we hand that off to the customer, and uh, they they largely then just run with it. So we thought, you know, what what would that look like if we took Netflix and baked that into that process? So with that automation and the ability to do proactive network health, proactive network capacity, all those kinds of things, and really kind of fine tune, dial that into that network as we're building that out in the labs and deploy that with the service. So that that's something we offered uh, or we introduced here last year, and, and actually it was pretty fun. That's one of the awards we got at the, the tail end of last year. And uh, you know, kind of wink, wink, Laura, we, we just got an award for that one. And, and this year, I can't mention whom and where, but that one's coming too. So so more awards to come for, for what we're calling intelligent FBN, so IFBN. Yep. Stay tuned for more awards. Yep. Uh, so tell us about, um, well, you have another acronym because we need another acronym in the industry. Yeah, we do, Laura. Yeah. CDX, uh, tell us about that. Yeah, so CDX, so customer defined experience. So everybody within our industry knows what customer experience is. So we added a D, actually I do it the other way for the camera, a D <laughs> right in the middle. So what we've done with Netflix is we have so much programmability that a customer can actually go in there and define what they want to take action on. So what what's coming in by way of advanced analytics and inputs, let them define by way of business rules you know, what to, to uh, you know, to, to detect, to trigger on, et cetera, and then what outcome out of that. So, yeah, we've, we've introduced a new concept. Uh, we've gotten some, uh, you know, even some early recognition with that as well, but it really just highlights uh, Netflix and the programmability of Netflix and the ability to really just focus on the customer in a whole different way and allow them to, you know, uh, again, custom define their network automation. Okay, so what's coming up in 2020 for Light River? What's coming up? Well, hope, hopefully more of the same. So hopefully a, a more recognition, uh, not just from an awards perspective, but uh, you know, picking up lots of new customers. We got all kinds of good stuff uh, in the hopper, so to speak. So more growth, 
you know, as we expand both lines of business. So, uh, yeah, lots of exciting things coming, Laura. All right. Where can our viewers learn more about Light River? So you can catch us at uh, lightriver.com. So hit lightriver.com and uh, learn uh, a lot more about us. Great news. Thank you, Travis, for joining us. All right. Thank you, Laura. And thank you, viewers, for joining us at JSA TV and JSA Podcasts. Happy networking. <laughs>